me again. I'm here at the Bellamy River Wildlife Sanctuary. Today I'm going to be doing my next episode about the Wolverine. Now I'm sure you've all heard of the superhero, but I'm talking about the animal. The Wolverine is the second largest weasel in the world. It weighs up to 80 pounds. The largest and heaviest weasel in the world is the sea otter, which can weigh 120 pounds. And the longest weasel in the world is the South American giant otter, which can grow up to 8 feet long. But the Wolverine is the most dangerous weasel in the world. It's very vicious, and it lives alongside its cousin, the Fisher. But it's far more dangerous. The Wolverine is incredibly strong and it, it's built kind of like a bear. It's a weasel, but it's built kind of like a bear. In fact, both the Wolverine and the bear are both considered the strongest animals in North America. Wolverines can even take on brown bears. In fact, Wolverines can take down prey 10 times their size and take on bears 10 times their size. That means an 80 pound Wolverine can take down 800 pound animals and take on 800 pound bears. And when Wolverines get angry, they'll rattle their, their teeth when they growl. And when male Wolverines fight, whether for food or territory or mates, they'll scalp each other. Some of the Wolverine's relatives, like I said earlier, the Wolverine lives alongside its cousin, the Fisher Cat. And the Fisher Cat is about four feet long, and it's also vicious, but it's not as vicious as the Wolverine. And um, it's pretty loud. The sounds it makes sound just like a screaming baby. And they'll sometimes even take down porcupines because sometimes they can get past the porcupine's quills, flip them over, and expose their soft underbellies. And of course, there's the skunk, which is another relative of the wolverine. And there's the marten, like the pine marten. And there's the mink, which I did my second episode ever about. Two different types of mink. Another cousin of the Wolverine is the Badger. Now I'm sure you've all heard of the North American Badgers, but there's another species of Badger in Africa that's probably the most dangerous Badger in the world, the Honey Badger. It kind of looks a bit like a skunk. It's only about half the size of a Wolverine, but it's just as vicious, and it's probably the African equivalent of the Wolverine. It can even take on lions, and just like the Wolverine, when it gets angry, it'll rattle its teeth when it growls. And it's called the honey badger because it has a weakness for honey. In fact, it also has a symbiotic relationship with a bird called a honey guide. See, the honey guide can't get honey out of a hive because of the bees, so it goes in search of a honey badger. The honey badger understands its call and follows the honey guide to the hive, and then it gets the honey out. Eat, and honey badgers will go into beehives even if it means getting stung to death. Yo, and what's interesting is, if the honey guy can't find a honey badger, it goes in search of humans. And the humans also understand the call.
Now, even though wolverines don't live here in New Hampshire, this kind of forest would be the kind of forest they'd like to live in. Now, what do wolverines eat? Well, I think they actually might be omnivores because I've heard that their teeth and jaws can actually bite off tree branches and roots in one big chomp. But they'll also eat meat too. They will take down live prey, but they'll also scavenge too. Like, they'll probably take down live white-tailed deer, and they've also been known to scavenge moose carcasses. And the Tasmanian Devil, even though it's not related to the Wolverine, it, it might be actually be the Tasmanian equivalent of the Wolverine because as it's just as fierce as the Wolverine, even though it's a marsupial, and the Wolverine's actually a placental mammal, and the Wolverine's a weasel. But just like the Wolverine and the Honey Badger, when the Tasmanian Devil gets angry, it'll rattle its teeth when it growls, and just like the Fisher Cat, also when it gets angry, it'll scream. And truck and I've actually heard a Fisher Cat scream before, and trust me, it really does sound, sound a lot like a screaming baby. Just one more thing. I was born in Ann Arbor, Michigan, home of the Wolverines, and... That's it for now, and I'll see you next time on another episode of Ben's Wild Adventure.